Nathan Zagura here at Levi Stadium where the Browns lose to the 49ers 31-3 on Monday Night Football. The game started off with the Browns winning the toss, electing to take the ball. They went three and out. And then it was the 49ers on their first play from scrimmage. Matt Breida, 83 yards, untouched to the house. And the Niners were up 7-0. And frankly, that may as well have been it right there. The Niners would go up 14-0. The Browns would get it to 14-3. And then a pivotal play came on a third down near the goal line. Baker Mayfield saw Antonio Callaway in his first game back. The ball deflected off of Callaway's hands into the air and was intercepted by former Brown Kwan Williams, who took it 49 yards, and the 49ers would not look back. Their defense absolutely dominated the Cleveland Browns' offense today. We said the offensive line versus their D-line, that would be key. Well, their D-line got the best of that one. Baker Mayfield was sacked four times. He was under duress all day long. In fact, the Browns were limited to just one of 11 on third downs. Baker Mayfield, meanwhile, 8 of 22 for 100 yards passing. He threw two interceptions and lost a fumble as well, ending his touchdown streak of 17 games to start his career with a touchdown pass. But the Browns, they really had no answers all day for Kyle Shanahan's offense for the 49ers. They were able to run it when they wanted to, to the tune of 275 yards rushing, seven yards per carry. They were able to pass it whenever they wanted. Garoppolo incredibly efficient, throwing for multiple scores on the day, completing the majority of his passes, and he was very effective off of play action. The Browns, they would turn it over four times. They would commit more penalties than the San Francisco 49ers. In other words, they were beaten in every single phase and facet of this game. They were out physicaled, they were outplayed, they were outgunned, and they were outscored 31 to three. There will be no time to dwell on this. This team must turn it around and get ready because the Seattle Seahawks will be coming to town on Sunday on what is now a short week for the Browns. For the latest on this game and all things Cleveland Browns, be sure to keep it tuned to clevelandbrowns.com and the Browns mobile app.